I don't look. Oh, I put my mic on. Yeah. Do we have music for the Close Show podcast? We'll have to get a song made, right? I guess. Why don't we make it? Is this mic on? Who, who are we gonna get to do it at one point? The music? I don't know, some hack, Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> Probably got canceled because he had sex with Bill Cosby. Hey! Hey! Welcome back to the Close Show. What season are we on? Like five? Six. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Yeah, this is empty. Um, I meant to write notes. Okay, yeah, welcome back to To Do Blind Deposit. This is a okay. Welcome back to the Close Show Podcast. I'm your host, Chloe LeBrange, and this is my assistant who I don't pay because he doesn't really do anything, Max. Hey. Yeah, he talks. Um, he's the Helen Keller of comedy. <laughs> I actually had a diary about Helen Keller. I was really drunk going onto a plane. I was in college and my friend was like, I was like, I need a book, right, for this flight. I need a book. And like, I, you, everyone assumed I wouldn't read the book because you're, you know, often like you have to be black out on the flight. Mm -hmm. I'm so scared of flying. That's why I drank so much. Yeah. Not. <laughs> and um, so my friend, like she gave me the diary of Helen Keller. That's why I have so many jokes about Helen Keller actually. But in the diary of Helen Keller, she talks about how she had a doll. Mm -hmm. And since she was so angry that she was blind and deaf, I guess I won't be like offending anyone who's deaf and blind because I can't hear this. Yeah. Um, she used to beat the shit out of her dolls. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's why I beat the shit out of Max when I'm blacked out. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Okay, so um, this is as we often say that this is my journey. So I'm gonna read Max's tarot cards. Because it's also his journey. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Okay. Max, you shuffle. Oh, don't touch me. I just went to City MD because uh, it wouldn't be the close show if I didn't go there for um, CD tests. Because you know I'm paranoid. Um, I can show you. Remember how like I was showing you how they? I'm constantly texting them. Yeah. I haven't even hooked up with anyone. It's just in my head. And um, trauma. Oh my God, do you guys remember Giacomo? Oh. We haven't even talked about anyone from this. I saw Henry. Henry came back. I saw him in um, the panty. We reunited. He's gone again. Uh, good old Bach. Yeah. This season this... is dedicated to Henry. Okay. I think that's what the first uh, four were dedicated to. All <laughs> the first four seasons? Yeah, I think so. God, the one that got away. God, could that guy run? No, we hate him. We love him. I love him all. I don't like any of them. This is the one I like him. That's pretty good. Okay, so tell me when to stop. I stop. Okay, now I'm going to pick three cards. Past, present, death, no future. <laughs> okay, now I read it from the book. Okay, right, cool. So you got a seven. Oh, yeah, it's like a sun. All right, Max. Let God do the work. Okay. Okay, seven of diamonds. The star, hope and healing. This is your past. So I know you were probably raped by a priest. <laughs> Would you lots of Jews were? <laughs> yes. Max didn't even go to Catholic school, but somehow the priest found him. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, you nailed it. I'm sorry for your trauma, but now you're healing. Okay. <laughs> that butthole is no longer loose. Okay. Present. We have, oh, four of diamonds. Hesitation to help others. Preoccupation with material possessions. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. Every time I call Max, what are you doing, Max? I'm at Louis Vuitton. I'm going to Chanel. I'm on a shopping spree. This guy can't get enough designer goods. It's true. These are all uh, very accurate. Yeah, I know. Number six. Oh, I mean, uh, future death. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's nice. 
What is this? A heart. All right. Are you okay so far? Ooh, yeah. six hearts. The lovers, love, beauty, union. Ooh, this is what I see because it's obviously death because it's the end. This is gonna be a Romeo and Juliet situation. So I think what's gonna happen is you're gonna meet someone. Max has a girlfriend. I think what's gonna happen is like you're gonna kill yourself, or she's <laughs> gonna kill herself, right? Yeah. And then you're gonna be like, I can't live without you. And you're gonna kill her, yourself. But then she was actually just faked it because she's actually seeing someone else. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm I I didn't write this. <laughs> yeah, it's all it's in the cards. Okay, welcome to the Close Show. Everybody, a moment of silence for Mr. Max. Okay, so we have some stuff we want to talk about today. We want to actually dedicate the first half of this episode to my really, really great friend, Tori Piskin. Hi, Tori. So, Tori and I used to do a lot of prayer on the show because we would pray about um, the power of prayer. So, if you remember, we did a prayer to the skateboard gods because Tori was wanting to get back her skateboard X. So we would say like, dear God, to the to the skateboard gods, please pray that the skateboarders come back. Um, didn't we do like that? Yeah, I feel like we did that. Like seeing my... I don't think so. He's got ideas. <laughs> um, so, yes, so, and then Tori and I went on a journey of Hinge. If you don't know what Hinge is, Hinge is a dating app. And Hinge stands for, fuck, my phone is over there. So I can't pull it up. Hinge stands for herpes is never going to end. It's a joke. I wrote. It kills on stage. <laughs> and in AA. And I don't go to those meetings. Anyways, um, come on. So, uh, yeah, so Tori struggles with dyslexia. And that's a journey. But the problem with Hinge right now is, first of all, every single guy on Hinge, right? Max knows. He swings. He's more of a grinder guy, but like literally every single guy on Hinge, they they have a name that doesn't make sense. Like during the panty, I was seeing this. Remember the doctor? Yeah. His name was Calm. Yeah. Calm. Yeah. It's Calm. not really a name. C O L M. Calm. Yeah. Calm. Calm. Calm to me. Remember, there was a problem. He was like, stay calm. Oh, we still don't know. Then like, like there's guys named, she is seeing a guy named Kai, K-A-I, Hi, Ki, Ki, Kai, how do you say it? Kai? Well, I don't remember him at all. You never saw him, this is recently on Hinge. Okay. Then there was this other guy, honestly, we don't know. Every name is fake until we got a guy named OK. <laughs> Did you meet okay? No, because I was like, okay, <laughs> not happening. We don't really meet these people. We just kind of like do it for research for this type of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually not very slutty at all. I'm really focused on my career. And so, yeah, that's another thing. And then also in like all these guys' profiles, they're obsessed with girls who can read. They're constantly saying like, I just want a girl who's into books. I want a girl who can read. I want, I just want someone who will read the newspaper with me. I want a girl who can watch a foreign film in